What's up, guys? Welcome to the Homeless Crusade with the Resident Mix guy, B Boy Kicks, Kevin, all the usual. And I got a very special guest with me today, my homie Kershaw, aka the Beard Man Eats. You've heard about him on the podcast a few times because I've mentioned him in the um, thing where if they were breaking my fingers, you know, how <laughs> 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 quickly I'd give him up. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, homie. My bad. So I, was, I mean, yeah, you you know for a fact if it was, if it was my right hand, yeah, I'd be like, nah. Yeah, I was like, I was like, <laughs> I'm singing how like important, bad, <laughs> I was like, how important is your hand to you? My right hand's like, very, yeah, bro. This is, a, this is where my braid comes from. So my right hand's very important. You can, you, 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 I work with my left. Okay, then again, my left is my dominant hand. Yeah, so. you're left-handed, so it's easy for you. I would learn okay. for you, okay? I'd, I'd let them <laughs> take my, I'd learn to use my right hand for you. You'd le- you would, le- you would literally make yourself ambidextrous I'd make myself ambidextrous for you that's that's how much I wouldn't give you up but it's okay I see, that's okay I see. At, at least you know now the, the air's been cleared so now we know where we, <laughs> we stand with each other but have you been I mean obviously back to be like in PE again as, as frequently as you are actually because I know you guys come down like on a regular basis yeah it's like um, well it's good to be home always nice to see yeah. friends all the homies family all the homies yeah. it's, just, it's just hard to make time for everybody man that's yeah. the thing like you're so limited in like your space for on a weekend when you're trying to just like try to see everyone try to squeeze everyone in and sometimes it's like I, I, I don't want some people to feel some type of way about like oh I didn't see you this time yeah. when I came down or I didn't see that person yeah. when I came down but I hope people understand you know I, I hear that from friends a lot whenever friends come from out of town or mm-hmm. even overseas it's like sometimes they don't even let people know they are because they don't want to have that obligation of it's like I need to see 75 people in the two days I'm going to be in BE. That actually happened. Yeah, like, well, 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 not with me, but like, um, you remember, <laughs> the no, like, like, um, you remember, um, Luke and Chelsea from our wedding? Yes. yes, yes, yes. That was at our wedding. So, so now Abby, my wife, mm-hmm. um, so we call it a Luke and Chelsea now because they, they were in East London for a wedding, but no one knew that they were there. Like, people who were not at the wedding didn't know that they were there so like other people oh, who were not guests of the wedding wouldn't like friends of theirs wouldn't have known that they were there and we happened to like bump into them mm. well Luke sent me a message on WhatsApp mm. and he sent me a picture of a pharmacy because he was wondering where I work and I was like why do you have a picture of that pharmacy mm. and then they were actually I was like are you in town and they said yeah we should we should actually meet up and then mm. when we would Together, actually, Chelsea actually told me, like, we actually don't want people to know that we're here. So don't That's post wrong. anything. <laughs> when, we, when we came up to East London, also, like, I have other homies that love there, but I only, we, we came up to visit you. Yeah. But I also told, I actually didn't tell Bonga. I left mm-hmm. it for a surprise for him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I told my other homie, um, Candace as well, because I always told her, if I do come to East London again, I have to come and pop in, because I haven't mm-hmm. seen her, because we, we, we were colleagues. Mm-hmm. And since we stopped working together, we haven't really been in contact unless we speak on the phone. So, you guys were the only people who knew that we were... But the thing is, we came to visit you. Yeah. <laughs> so you As guys, a surprise. Yeah, you guys were the only... Pe- well, <laughs> my friend Candace always knew. Because we were told her, like, two or three weeks before the time already, listen, we're going to be in Island this weekend. Mm-hmm. Let me know where you're going to be. Are you going to be at work or if you, whatever. So, we can oh, at least come pop in and see you. And then... It was a surprise for you. It was a surprise for the homie Bonga. He didn't know either. Mm. But you guys are the main reason we were coming up. So, like, we yeah. didn't have to know. But, like, for example, with me, if I had to go to Durban, I don't know a lot of my family there, but if I did know a lot of them and I actually had good relationships with them, mm-hmm. but I would have to be selective of what I'm going <laughs> because there's a lot of... My, my yeah. dad's got a lot of cousins in Durban on my granny's side and I would have to literally have an itinerary for the day yeah. to plan, like, okay, cool. And Durban is a, like... like, pe- like People in PE take for granted how close places actually yeah, are. Yeah, like, like proximity. Like Prox- we proximity in PE is crazy because we can do something in Summerstrand and then go do something in Bay West later and it's not that far. Mm. You hit the freeway and eventually you get to Bay West and you're good. We can still see people in Utnick yeah. in the same day. You can still go show the homies in Utnick in the same day and whatever. Yeah. And so go show your back butt goes to Utnick. Yeah, that's all. But like, <laughs> back <butt> to <laughs> but like, places like Cape Town and Durban, the trip from one person in Cape Town to another friend is sometimes sometimes like driving from PE to Jeffsburg. Yeah, no, definitely. Cause so, it's like four. Yeah. Cause Durban was the we, same because we had to plan it. When, when, when we spoke to my family in Durban about when we, we when we told them what they we wanted to do and we were there the last mm-hmm. time, they literally told us, okay, well, you have to get up really early. They oh, were wow. like, you need to be up. At okay. like, you have to be up and ready to leave the house at like half past six, mm. the latest. Because... We live here, your other auntie lives here, your other auntie lives here. So, like, from here to there, 
Yeah. He's already 40, like 45 minutes to an hour Sheesh. just to travel to them, right? From here to here is another half an hour. Mm. Then to get back to where we live or where we were staying at the hotel at the time is another like hour and a bit. Yeah. Right? Like it's it's a long drive. Yeah. So people take proximity for granted, Brian. No, like we do. We, we do. Even like when Artie's been living in Joburg for a minute. Mm-hmm. And we actually, we actually video called the other night. He, no, we, I'm lying. We didn't video call. He was on Instagram live and I was like, I was speaking okay. to him while he was busy drawing. Yeah. And then he just ropes me into the live. So I'm like, okay, we're doing this now. So we, just, <laughs> we just needed like a video call. So we were just yeah. talking on the phone. And then um, even he was saying, bro, like Josie itself, right? Mm. Or Gauteng itself is the smallest province we have. But everything is so far oh, away. away. From each it's other. so far. Because Joburg, Joburg itself as a city mm. is like a third of Gauteng. Yeah. The size of it. Mm-hmm. And then, let's say, Pretoria is another third. And then the, everything else is, like, in between. I feel, but like, you, I feel like Pretoria and Gauteng, they should just... They, like, like Joburg, Pretoria and Joburg, like, yeah. Yeah, I feel like, like they should just get together and become, like, one, one nation. Place. Yeah. But, yeah, so, like, th- perhaps things are, like, people in Pee really take proximity for granted. Like, you, you probably can visit a lot of your friends and family in one day. Or plan a day and be like, listen, I'm going to be here. Are we going to... I don't know, whatever event or function is happening, if it's not like a by invitation or anything. Mm. They're like, bro, I'm going to be there if you want to see me, come chill. Yeah. That, that sounds like a better plan to Cause, me. Because cause even like when, when, when Abby and I were in Cape Town for our anniversary, mm. um, we also went to see some friends and like we were, loved, we were staying in one part of Cape Town and then we took some friends home to Stellenbosch and it was like almost an hour's drive from where we were living there. like Woodstock to like all the way to Stellenbosch, but this is still Cape you're still, Town. You're still in Cape this Town. You're still in Cape Town. Yeah. Well, what I you haven't left Cape, yet. Yeah, we haven't <laughs> left Cape Town, <laughs> but it's an hour to that place. Yeah. Not like traffic is hectic and you like bumper to bumper roads. Well, traffic was flowing, but it was almost an hour to get there. That's insane, man. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it's insane to think, like, it, it reminds me a lot of when, when Eden and uh, Eden and Marie were here because mm. we were speaking and I was speaking to him because he, he was showing me where they love mm. and he was showing me where they used to live. And when they were living in New York, they had friends. I think they lived in B- Buffalo, New York. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they lived like near the city. Yeah, but like, you know, like, like you the see the city, was... like where the Bronx and things mm-hmm. is, they live nearby there. Mm-hmm. I might be wrong. But to get from where they lived to where their friends lived in Buffalo. But uh, when I say it's like a nine hour drive huh? and you haven't left the state <laughs> of New York yet. What? Yeah. A nine hour? It's like hour? driving from P. It's like driving P into Cape Town and like, you still haven't left PE yet. Let me put it into perspective for you. So it's you okay. drive from PE to Johannesburg, right? Let's say you make one pit stop in between. Let's say you make a pit stop in Bloemfontein, mm-hmm. right? You have gone through three provinces to mm-hmm. get from PE to Johannesburg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To drive from New York City, the city itself where like... Um, yeah, like where Queens and Brooklyn and all those yeah. places are. To drive from there to Buffalo, which is a way more, like, let's call it a rural area. There's like farms and shit oh, there. Okay, okay. To get from there, and let me remind you, you still haven't left the state of New York, which yeah. means you like haven't, still haven't left, left the, the province. Yeah, you still haven't left, quote unquote, the province yet. Nine hours later, <laughs> one straight drive, around, no stopping in between, one straight drive from there to there, nine hours, and you are still in New York. We be people take. We are lucky. We are lucky. We are so lucky. Yeah, we genuinely are because we got it easy. Yeah, like I I was telling, like when we spoke about it, I told because they did it. Mm. You they took a trip to P to Cape Town and they went there for a weekend and they came back. They were like, yeah, no, we can we can do that here. Yeah, I was like. Brian, New York, you know, yeah. In like we, uh, we were saying, if you watch, that's like a whole trek, brother. Like that's like a whole migration. Yeah, that's not even a road trip. So like, you know, migrating. Yeah. So remember when you watch like movies as a, as a child and like they show like people road tripping and like they camp overnight. Are we like, there yet? Brian, like, Ice Cube. Are Brian, we there? That, that, I get it now. I get why oh, that movie's called Are We There Yet? Yeah, because <laughs> half the time, like in those movies and things, they're still in the same state. Mm. They haven't even left the state yet. They haven't crossed <laughs> the border yet, which is bonkers mm. to me, bro. But yeah, but also I went through well, I went through to get into this now because we are doing the Beard Man Eats episode since yeah. we are here doing this that is now. A, this is a fusion. This yeah, is yeah. a Beard Man Eats and Homeless fusion. Crusader. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, Toriyama. All right, do it. But yeah, so we, Kersh and I are going to be doing a food review today mm-hmm. about some stuff. Okay. We, we're merging the we're merging everything together, just for for one day, one yeah. night only. <laughs> what are you calling this? What are you calling this? This episode, um, the homeless beard man eats. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't figure that out. Anymore. You'll ask me to make a thumbnail for it when we get there. But anyways, I mean, okay. So what? What? what are we gonna have a thumbnail of a homeless man like chowing food? Or I don't know. <laughs> I'll I'll edit us looking like all 
you know, like, scruffy like looking. Like old and like thick beards, <laughs> so like, make, a, like a Kratos I'll make, beard. I'll make us look scruffy somehow, but yeah. So what are we, what are we doing today? What are we, what are we eating today? Mm -hmm. Well, Ooh. I've actually got two masala steak sandwiches from mm. Burger Palace. I don't know if you ever Ooh, had. Damn. I haven't. I haven't even had the masala steak sandwiches. Like when um. I used to work across the road at Livingston. Oh, yeah. The hospital. Sometimes I would get this. Um, I'd say for me personally, it's one of the nicest steak sandwiches I've had. Um, but you can okay. also be the judge of that and let me know. Uh, Sounds good. All I know is my one doesn't have tomato. Okay. So I don't mess with tomato like that. I should have told you the same thing to me. Oh, so really? this, one says, this one says in tea on it. Okay, that one's probably no tomato. Oh. That one's probably be no tomato. Anyways. Okay. Yeah. okay. Let's see what this is about. First time doing food blog by work, yeah. by the way. Well, actually. Well, don't worry, like, you don't have to use fancy words, like, when you're eating, like, or, like, when you're sipping on wine, you're like, I'm getting notes of, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> uh, what's this, Angus beef cow. Um, Interesting. He definitely ate grass in Scotland. Oh, he, yeah, 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 no, we don't need to do that. What, what, what do they do is, that, though? No, 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 I'm not at all, I'm just saying. Candice and I went wine tasting one time, and, like, we didn't have to do all that. They just taught us, like, the technique of how to do it. So, like, okay. the way you've got to, like, swirl the glass, uh -huh. and, like, it's got to coat the glass a certain kind of way. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't, yeah, then it's, like, it's not that kind of wine. It's more like this kind. Yeah, but there's, like, a whole rule book. There's, like, it's like and there's, like, a science to it. Yeah, and also you have to hold the wine glass at the stem. Okay. You're not supposed okay. to hold it like a chalice. Oh, because a lot of people it. hold it like a chalice sort no, of thing. No, you're supposed to hold it at the stem only. Okay. You're going to hold it. And you swirl it while you hold it at the stem. These two and this one and you hold it like that. And then you've got to, yeah. This man's giving you some gold yeah, mines yeah. here, people. Yeah, Are you guys, paying attention? Listen. Guys, listen. please comb wines. Trust <laughs> me, that lady is the bomb. Um, her name is Sandra, if I'm not mistaken. She is the bomb, genuinely. She she teaches you everything that you need to know. I'm not going to eat this whole thing, but I'm going to do like the whole taste tester. It's okay. It's okay. Sample it. my drink out the way. Yeah, but we're going to save this for just now. Okay, should we, should we get up close to Candice and like just let us see what's yeah, what's going on here? Okay, I'll take, I'll take my one closer. Okay, you take your cool. one closer. So guys. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to these tomatoes. Yeah. As you can see, there's um, a lot of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing the whole thing, the whole thing that Kershaw does. Takes the food, takes the food close to the camera and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Corner, on a bike. Sorry, rocking with. We got some, got some egg on here. I see lettuce. Okay, some egg, lettuce. lettuce steak. A whole lot of sauce. A whole lot of sauce. A it's, whole lot of sauce. It's a, it's quite a spicy one. This one. I don't know how you handle heat, but I'm pretty sure I you're okay with heat. I am Indian, so. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm you know, Indian enough. <laughs> you know, for the sake of like, I'm I'm not gonna fight these tomatoes on here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get into these tomatoes yeah, let's anyway. Okay. Okay. Let's Cheers. Give it a go. Cheers. Oh, this is your first time doing a food video with somebody else. Yeah. It? Oh, that too. I'm fully solo. <laughs> so, you, so, yeah. so, so you're technically the first guest on Beard Man Eats I'm right now. I'm technically the first guest on Beard Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yes, I am the first guest on Beard Man. Let's, okay. let's, let's dive in. Mm. I like that the lettuce is like, it's, it feels like they picked it just now. I normally always go, yeah. is, 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 is the little, is a little spice from the masala hitting you a little bit? Not too much, but it's lingering. like gentle enough. It's like a tickle on the tongue. Yeah, it's lingering. Let's see. I feel it. Mm. I just to let you know that it's there. Yeah. Basically is what it is. It's, it's not, it's not super burny. Yeah. But it's definitely got the spicy yeah, factor yeah. that Actually you're does. looking for. This is really, so you used to eat this for lunch like every day. <laughs> Not every day. I was about to say, damn. Why don't you snack on this mm -mm. every single day? This is really good. Just what I'm out. And, and what I like about it is like, it's been in the packet for a while. That's so but, the, but the toast is not like soggy. Mm. And like, I don't know, because sometimes if you leave, if you ever had toast and you like leave it too long, then it like becomes like too crunchy, like hard almost. Yeah. But I like it the fact... It like bolting after like pull it and yeah, yank it. Yeah, exactly. And the oh. sauce, and yeah, and the sauce with the steak, also, also really lacquer. Yeah. And the steak is not, and, and, and the steak is not like chewy. Like, you know, like, you get that like... No, I'm, I'm eating right through it. I'm yeah. chewing right through it. There's a lot of... This is really good. This is mad decent, actually. I feel bad with Kevin's watching this right now. It's probably like... <laughs> I really want I'm to buy. Another offer. I can, if I could turn the camera around right now. <laughs> mm -mm. You and Kenneth do weird roasting relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you letting? Okay, I need you to tell me how you do this. No, just for me. It's mostly just 
I just say what I like about it, what I'd improve about it, and like what's not what's not gelling for me. But because I know this establishment, oh, should we drop the address as well? Oh yeah. Later in the video, Burger Palace in Corston. Um, masala steak sandwiches. This was only forty bucks for the sandwich. Oh, it's sure. worth it. Yeah, it's oh, definitely it's worth it. So, yeah. if you're ever in the area, stop by there and get yourself one of these masala steak sandwiches. But you, you can never go wrong with a masala steak sandwich because it's quite... Well, it's for one, it's very tasty for, and also it's very, very filling. True. But like, on, mm. a, on a beard man eat scale, Kevin, out from 1 to 10, what would you rate the, this masala steak sandwich? Hmm. I'd give it a solid 8. Hmm. Solid 8. I'd give it a, I'd give it a 8 too. Like, I'll give it a eight. Like I said, I've been around the block, so I've been trying masala steak sandwiches around PE. Mm. So, like I said, this one is one of my favorites, definitely. I'm not mad at this. This is actually a decent time. Okay, since you brought it up, what is actually your favorite food item to review? Like, mm. what's the one what's thing you favorite like? food item to review? If, okay, I can already tell you mine without even having to think about Go it. Go ahead. I should have two. If I had to be doing food blogs or... Mm. It's food blogs, huh? Mm -hmm. If I had to be doing food blogs... The two things that I would food blog all the time. One, first of all, is pizza. Okay, okay, okay. Second would be burgers. Ah. Those are my favorite items of food. Like. Yeah, I was, I was going to say probably like burgers. Because mm. um, I do have a bit of a series I'm planning right now. Mm. Sur uh, surrounding burgers. So if you are heavy into burgers. Oh, yeah, definitely. Keep an eye out on Beardman Eats. There's a whole burger series coming through very soon. Interesting. Yeah. But it actually all started like with because um, I was craving. I was actually <laughs> craving. Um, oh, is that the sizzle is chilling. Oh, the, my left. The sizzle is chilling. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't bad. That was good. I'm gonna put my hand in my. Oops. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> table. I apologize, table. Audio. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, bloopers. You can say this for the bloopers. <laughs> for the bloopers. Mm -hmm. um, actually, how it started out was that. A couple of my friends, I always told them to go try out um, donuts at a place called Crave Burger. Uh huh. Uh huh. And that was uh, one of our group date places we used to go chill there. Now yeah, again. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Crave Burger's the bomb. So they were like, "Why don't you just tell us how these donuts taste? Why don't you do like a food review and let us know, oh, like what you think about these donuts?" Mm. And I was just sitting in my car and I decided, okay, I'm gonna record, I'm gonna record myself reviewing donuts. And I really, really enjoyed it. And also, I've always been like a bit of a food person. I was actually just, yeah. I was telling Abby yesterday, actually, how my mother bought me a whole Jamie Oliver cookbook. Did I ever cook okay. anything out from that book? No, no, no. <laughs> I didn't cook a single meal from that book. I was like, okay, I was like seven, eight years old. Oh, damn. At the you, time. You had so, it that long? Yeah, because I, I used to watch like Jamie Oliver on like SABC3. Mm -hmm. So I always had this like, even if I visit my parents' house, first channel I'm going to is the Food Network. I'm yeah, always yeah. watching like diners, dive-ins and dives. Essentially, I just like watching people chow. Uh, yeah, I like watching people eat. So then, so <laughs> it's then, like your kink. <laughs> <laughs> my fetish. Like <laughs> just, so like that's so the way Abby got you, the way she used to dip her chips in sauce and eat it. <laughs> yeah, it was, the, it was the milkshake fries combo, you know. Mm. No, but anyway, anyways, yeah. yeah, so 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 that's how it started. And I was like, okay, like, and I did another one, another one. And it just started, like, picking up momentum. And I liked it. And I, and I was like, what if I did this, like, hobby? Just, like, do food reviews and yeah. talk and talk about the food and let people know. But at the end of the day, also, you know, like, everyone's taste buds is also different at the end of the day. That's like, true. for example, you don't like butter. Yeah, well, it's not that you, I don't like butter. I, I have a hard time ingesting butter. Yeah, it's yeah. Quite, it, the, the, it's a horrible sight, guys. Oh, yeah, like right. the texture puts you off. Uh, not even the texture. I don't mind the texture because I I I can eat different kinds of spread. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. But this, for That's some reason, there's like... And I'm sure there are people that are watching that can agree. There's this weird thing, right? Mm. When I eat butter, if I eat a lot of butter and I can taste it... You can it, taste the butter. Yeah, like mm. you can taste the flavoring of it, like the, mm -mm -mm. the taste of it. I start to get very, very nauseous, like instantly, to the point where like I can't control it anymore. Guys, I'm gonna go throw. I'm, I'm gonna throw up. So okay. that's what happens with me and butter. Mm. And I'm just like, nope. And <laughs> Evo, right? You don't mess with Evo like either. Yeah, yeah. I don't like the chef. I don't think you like stuff that's like has like it's like fatty. Probably yeah, that's, that's, that's like it. that's like in the food groups of fats. Is like it. you don't like stuff that's like almost like uh, yeah, like that sort of texture. 
Cause, no, cause Evo and Butter almost like they all they they both fats, but they mm. they're a little bit different, but they're still in the same yeah, like family so group. I, I'm I, I don't yeah like it's to the you know what you actually like you know, hit the nail on the head because it's to the point where whenever Candice and I eat something, I take mm. paper towels and I put my paper I put paper towels on the plate first. Okay. And then I'll okay. take like whatever meat I'm eating, chicken, whatever it is, mm-hmm. and I'll put that on the paper towel. Okay. And okay. then I'll microwave it so that okay. while the, it gets hot, yeah, and the oil the oil starts are... to liquid like mm-hmm. uh, liquidize again, whatever. The paper towel absorbs that, that oil. immediately. <laughs> I do it okay. all the time. Okay. That's like an unconscious habit for me to just warm up anything that I know has like either a piece of fat on it mm-hmm. or has been cooked in oil mm. and to just put the paper towel underneath it and just let it drip. Like last night we had rooties for supper that yeah, yeah. Uh, they got from this fundraiser at church. Mm. And fundraiser rooties always be the best. Yeah, but a fundraiser rooties is <laughs> a bomb. But anyway, so like... While I was eating, because she warmed it up, so the oil obviously started to get soft again and started yeah. becoming runny. And it was that orange oil. Oh, you know that. I orange, see. I know? see. I see what you're talking. Look about. like I see. look like Fanta. <laughs> 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 it looks like Fanta. <laughs> so like while I was eating, like I always hold the roti downwards and I always pinch yeah, the bottom. Yeah, comes out the bottom. Yeah, I pinch the bottom. But I looked down at the plate and I saw the orange drops. So I was like, I that's cool, no problem. There's an oil spill. <laughs> yeah. So what happened was I asked Candice, like, give me two pieces of tissue paper. And then yeah. I literally held it at the bottom yeah, yeah. to drain out the rest of because the Because you don't want to get the oil on your hands. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, like, I don't want to have oil d- orange droplets everywhere. Yeah, so you, like, can't be, you can't be hating on fundraising church routines. Those routines are No, no, no. It wasn't that they tasted bad. They tasted really good. Those routines are for Jesus. <laughs> 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 but besides that, it's like I, I had to just get the oil somewhere. Yeah. You know? I couldn't have it like all over the place. You couldn't put it in your car. And bruh, like, Candace has this thing, like, I don't know how I always unconsciously just mess on a bed, bruh. It's like a, such, a, such a bad habit of mine. I don't know how, if it's not crumbs, bruh, like, it's sauce. Okay. So I was like, if I drop this orange on this bed now, it's permanent state. <laughs> it's not coming back out. That's like, that's like yeah. Abby, and, but like, there was this phase where Abby was like, where Abby was making curry, she, she was making like saucy food this one week. Huh? And every, every night, she missed, she spilled something on her PJs, like, and Love the first him. night it was curry. And it was like, and it became, it became a thing where she mm. was, she had to like, I think that's the most times I've seen her change pajamas in a week. <laughs> so she <laughs> basically has to have her pajamas. She, she had to have a, pajama, for like, a pajamas every day, every day of the week. Yeah, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because yeah. she's going to spill something. Yeah, and, 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 and I would look at her and she'd be like, and I'd be like, I'm waiting for it. <laughs> and then like, it, some nights it didn't happen, but they yeah. do one nice like it dripped on the pants or it was on the top or something. But yeah, you get what I'm trying something, to get it. At least something always falls. That is hectic. But yeah, so like I, you actually, I never, now that you mentioned it, I never really thought about it. But yeah, I hate like fat. Even like when I eat uh, boltong or something. Uh, uh, uh. Like, I love I the always, fat. I, I love for the, the piece that has the least. No! And then if it does have a lot, I'm like... If I can take a scissor and trim it off, you, you <laughs> circumcise like, that bulldog. <laughs> it's like flick that piece of you, you, off whitey. That's why you have friends like me, you know. Like if, if you if, can have like, one, like if you don't eat the fat, I'll eat the fat for you. Because okay. I, I I like chewing the fat. It's, 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 Seriously? It, yeah, it makes me feel like those old people that like. Um, do you remember those 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 tobacco thingies that came in the yellow packet? It used to be called BB tobacco. Oh yeah, and it was yeah, like yeah. yellow, and then it, then oh, it was like, chewed tobacco. Yeah, it was chewable tobacco. Every yeah. used to like chew it, and it was like yeah. and spit it out like that. Yeah, yeah. It was like a hard piece. It looked like a hard ass piece of bubblegum. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It makes me feel like I'm chewing tobacco. I don't smoke, Damn. but it makes me feel like I'm chewing tobacco. Damn, I actually now that you mentioned, I remember that shit. That was yeah. like I, I I've seen people mm. who used to eat it and like use it. It was like. Damn. Like I had a like like if tobacco fix that hectic that you need to chew it. I had a and nanny. the juices. I had a nanny. <laughs> <laughs> like she, she used to take like so she used to, used to take the tobacco from that thing. Mm-hmm. Then she would take like the free newspaper. The, it, it was the Apple Express at that time. Oh damn! Apple Express, bruh. And then she would like roll it up and smoke the newspaper, bruh. That lady was always up to date with what's going on in the city. <laughs> She's up to date with current affairs because she was because she was using the newspaper as as yes. as we as a went, blade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you call it, but she was but she was rolling a tobacco with the newspaper. That is bonkers! <laughs> oh my word. She can make her what's her name as long as she wants to bring. <laughs> the world is her oyster. So she can make so long and she like really devil. <laughs> she could if she wants she to. She catch up with. Just imagine like every time she smoked around, right? she catch up with like this week's news. Yeah. She yeah. like roll like from the newspaper from Monday through to Friday, yeah. roll up all tobacco. We're like, okay, let's see what's going on in Monday's news today. <laughs> you know. <laughs> she knows the whole story to the T, brother. That's kind of funny. But, anyways, okay. So, I know you you have an idea. Uh-huh. Of the, I don't actually know what Adol calls this game, but isn't it called red flag, green flag? 
I think it's, yes, it is actually called red flag. Red flag, red yes. flag. So I wanted to play it with you because you and I always talk about like we always just like have, have really good conversations about like stuff, so situations, like, life and things. Okay. So <clears throat> you've got to take the green deck. I need a serve you, and I'm gonna take do the red deck. Serve you somewhere. I don't think we do. But we'll we'll go and wash our hands and things off. Is your hands like dirty? Yeah, <laughs> they got, they got okay. On them. I'll 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 do the cards. Okay, okay. Are you can do the cards. Uh, my hands are Sorry, folks. Out. I'm, I'm a messy. Eater. For Sorry. food bloggers, but it's cock messy. <laughs> you should see my car after I record. <laughs> I was about to say it's probably crumbs everywhere. Yeah, then, don't let Abby get into my car. <laughs> I was about to say. I always use that. It's still recording. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. So, okay. I'll I'll. I'll post the scenarios at you, and then you okay. let me know. Okay. Okay. So let's pretend. I feel like Candice has some. What? No, so no, no, no. Oh, she probably does. I, 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 I'll, prep, I'll post the, the scenarios after we right? I wish I had a so, GoPro so I could just like record Candace behind the scenes sticking in a bag like. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the, this is the. So okay. for every green card, there's obviously a red card. So obviously. you have to. Obvious. We're gonna pretend that you and Abby are still like in the early bird stages of your relationship. Oh, okay, okay. And you okay. need to tell me that if, the red card will be a deal breaker for you. Oh. Right? Okay, okay. You gotta let okay. us know. Thank you, EP, for handing Thank you service. so much. Thank you. And you can you, get the green deck back now. <coughs> After you clean your hands off your feet. And the table. For, oh, bro, for, for if, food if, blog, if you Everything's chowing my beard, my fingers, the table. I was about to say, bro, for a food blog, you messy as hell. Excuse me, that was a messy sandwich. <laughs> Look Good. at my, my hands are clean, guys. Check it out. You had a neat sandwich. I had the stack sandwich with the tomatoes. <laughs> Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay. That's again another situation or something I would do for you. I don't normally eat tomatoes, but I ate the tomato sandwich. <laughs> you should feel worse now after you don't want to give I up do. your hand. I do. I feel worse now. <laughs> now I feel like a cock bride because it's like, this dude ate tomato for me. Not that I'm allergic or anything. <laughs> <laughs> at all. It's just, it's just not your preference. Yeah, if, I, if, it, if it wasn't there, I wouldn't eat it. But yeah. anyways, okay. So, you're going to pull the red card and okay. have like a very, like a very nice green flag about. Okay, We're okay. going to use his wife Abigail as an example but mm-hmm. we're pretending that they are still in like the honeymoon phase of like they've been always dating for like two, phase, three months always yeah. in the honeymoon phase no, no, yeah I know you guys are always in your honeymoon phase but like we'll pretend that you guys are only dating for like two, three months right now mm-hmm. and we need to figure out if any of these red cards or these red flags would be a deal breaker for you guys okay okay. Yeah. I've okay. never seen I've seen people play it in general mm-hmm. but now it's like you're playing it about somebody that it really exists mm. that's, that's <laughs> an actual person because she's going to watch this <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to be there like just skip through that part. Of it. Oh, it's an ad. Thank yeah. God for the ad. Skip through. <laughs> Imagine. Okay. So, hit me with the red, with the green card, so I can hit you with the red, with, with the green flag, so I can hit you with the red flag. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's go. see what happens. I'm excited. I'm excited. <clears throat> okay. Owns a mansion or holiday home, but believes the clerk is the goat president. Please, the clerk is the goat That's the, as Ardell said in the, in the previous video, that's the apartheid one. <laughs> Wait, but isn't, you know, you know, when I was watching the previous one, isn't he the dude that's like standing with Mandela like, yeah, freedom, like they're holding hands I and think, stuff like I that? I think so, I think so. But for now, I, I but Ardell would have done oh, his research before okay. he made these cards because so, he had me make them. So he would have done his research. So are we pretending so this, F.W. Declerc is like in his apartheid prime? Like yeah, he's, he's like, 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 he's on like, he's on the, he's on like, He's Sigh. on the Hill Heigl he's, type thing. He's yeah. on the Hitler vibe. Yeah, sort he's of like the blankers only and like, oh, that uh, kind of shit. Uh, like you can't drink and from Abby, that. Tap. And Abby is like, but you know what I'm saying? Like, Ooh. back then, Ooh. you know, I, I mean, I couldn't walk at, after 7 o'clock at night, but. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm. <laughs> so she is living she, the lavish life. Yeah, so, okay. But. Does she, believe. I mean, it's on the same kind of level. Like if, if, like in America, I'm sure they would probably say the like same thing about like Trump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Bush wasn't that bad. Bush just said like mm. freedom. <laughs> I'd say. Would you stick it in? I wouldn't. You I wouldn't? wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wouldn't. If Abby believed that the apartheid president was no, was first prize. <laughs> No, I wouldn't. And like she, she stands by what she's saying. She's like, look here, I wouldn't hear nothing. It's this like guy had it under control. Yeah, like like we had electricity back then. There was no shading. I mean, there wasn't, wasn't low shading. shading. There was electricity. There was three and a liter. <laughs> Trains used to work. There was a post office. Yeah. It's a deal breaker. I'm sorry. Deal breaker. It's a deal breaker. Damn. I'm sorry. I'm uh, I'm gonna have to let my wife go. <laughs> I mean, sorry, my girlfriend at the time. Your girlfriend at the time. Go. Okay. Let's do. Let's just do five and see how okay. far. Yep. 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 Okay. Yep. okay. So hit me with another green flag. Let's okay. see what happens next. Always smells amazing. Ooh. Bad. Okay. But. 
They constantly talk and talk over you and interrupt you. <laughs> I do that to a lot of people myself. Yeah. So. So you'd be like, I'm, 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 like reverse. I'd be okay with it, actually. So I would let that one slide. Like I would let that one slide because you know, I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say like to my wife, "Oh, you're back," <laughs> you know. But it's, that's like, a, that's it's, like a, it's a constant thing that happens like, okay. all the time. Like, like no matter what, she's always she's speaking. Always, like, I can't get a word out. Yeah. Like you trying to explain. Like she asks you something, and you are trying to tell her the thing that you're trying, like she's asking, and then mm. while like you only like four words in, and then she's like talking. <laughs> Can I type on my typewriter? <laughs> Can I like is there oh. other is there other forms of communication? I mean if you okay. I, I think that's a loophole if you type it if you type what you want to send your typewriter, it'll probably If I type if I take type it on my phone and I was like this is what I wanted to say. Yeah. Then she okay. can talk all she wants. Okay, nah, that's also a deal breaker. Deal breaker for me. Yeah, Steve. It's not looking good for me. It's not looking good for us. <laughs> no, not no me because I mean you would appreciate like constantly someone speaking of because you also want to get your thoughts out. You also want to be heard. You also want to share your opinions. I mean True. because you just You'd feel less valued at the end of the day. Like, like you feel like it wouldn't matter. To I'm, I'm gonna be real with you now. The, I, I had to print these cards out. So Adol sent them all to me, mm. and then I too have them made. Yeah. When I read these things, there was a few where I was like, I mean, I might let it slide. Yeah. But a lot of them I was like, Yo, bro, you went, you dug deep for these red flags. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you dug no, really these are deep. these are genuine red flags. These are genuine I, red flags. I, I, no, I, I think yeah, I think it's a deal breaker for me because I would I would like to be heard and I it also feels like a, like a disrespecting man, you know, mm. like as in like like you don't respect me enough to let me have my say. Mm. But you, I know there's one card in here that I I, w- I would say if I if it does pop up, I'll, if we if we don't end up hitting it. I'll show you which card it is, yeah, but I'll yeah, skip yeah. it for now. Yeah. But um, there's one card that like doesn't apply to you and Ab- I actually mm-hmm. thought about it before I thought of playing the game. It's like there's yeah. one card that it no matter what it, it doesn't that doesn't actually apply, so I'm gonna skip it, but we'll we'll see if we get it. Okay, okay. let's go for number three. Next green flag. Woo! That's a green flag for real! <laughs> That's it? definitely a green flag. What is it? She got a fat ass. <laughs> P H A T, not even F A T. She got a P H A T. She got she got you know, she thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think that's my favorite card. That's my favorite card right here. It literally says P H A T. Yeah. Can I take this card over with me? <laughs> take card over with you. Okay. Because she got a so serious butt. She got yams. Okay. But she jumps on every new TikTok trend. All the new TikToks, everything you see on Instagram is like, check out my new socks, but then it's like a whole bunch of ass. So, so, so that's what I was going to say, because I remember she got yams, so she's going to be showing everyone. If we can like, monetize our fat ass, <laughs> that's okay with me. If we can get like verified yeah. and like a lot of subscribers and like, yeah, yeah that's okay with me. That's, you're fine with that. That's not a deal breaker. You're fine with that. Yeah, the people are going to cut me out in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> so like you found the loophole, like, okay, fine, you got yeah, fat ass, yeah, but like... Yeah, because I mean, because okay, there's so many. My car's paid for, so we could. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I mean, um, I mean, like, like most, like most of them is like dancing stuff, right? A lot of them. So yeah. on the in in brackets in smaller does say more so the dancers. Yeah, yeah, the so dance stuff. Be, yeah, I mean, it's she's okay. She's gonna be shaking it. Yeah, and I mean, the fair is gonna bring in more views. For the t- she's gonna. I be mean, think about the views. Video, think yeah. about the likes. Think about all of that. The, I'm about okay. the algorithm. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I sound like I'm selling my wife in the room. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to play I this was, game in there because I knew your response is going to be gold, bro. I, I look like the villain here. Just oh, when like, I thought about it, I was like, okay, I know we're going to talk, talk some smack in here, but I was like, I want to play this game with you because I know your response is going to be golden. And I didn't know you were going to like lose it for that card. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> like, like, when I went out, this is my card, yeah. This is like, if I had to identify as a card that I like, that's my card. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to identify as a card. <laughs> that's if it, you like, identify as anything now, okay. okay. No, we're the, the, the next, new we're the the next one. Yes, go. I should be Green asking you what to do. Number you four. Do. Asking me but I, I'm the host of the show. You can't. Uh, well, we can play it in reverse order. Okay. Green flag. Great communicator. Great communicator. Great communicator. Yeah. But favorite bread spread is marmite. <clears throat> I don't see why this is a red flag, guys. I love marmite. I, marmite I is genuinely... cuck. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> Mama oh is, my I say it with my chest. <laughs> my chest out. Mama is cuck. <laughs> okay, for those, okay, there are people that agree with me. They're, please, guys, comment. Like, let, well, Mama, it's not that bad. Okay, wait. Also, it's, now, a, like, a very, it's a very... It's um, a very controversial... It's a very controversial spread. Opinion. It's a controversial like, if, if, like, I, like, Mama. If, Mama like, can tell us, nigga. If, oh, if you said lover spread, I'd be like, school. 
That's fine. Let it slide. But I let it slide. But why am I? Wait, is she feeding me the mom? Like, no, is she making hers. me? Is it our preference? It's our, it's our preference. Like whenever like you guys are chilling at home watching mm. Netflix or whatever, just mm-hmm. putting on okay dramas, it's like mom might bring. And then like you got to kiss that mom might mouth afterwards. <coughs> I've That's e- like a thing that kind of nice to talk about. It's like whatever. Like she like there's certain things that I mm. don't eat mm-hmm. that she loves. Mm-hmm. So it's like. I don't think we have it in reverse. I don't think we do. It's only with her. Yeah. Okay. So, um, there's certain things where it's like, she loves stuff, she's going to eat it, and then it's like, ooh, I gotta, I gotta kiss you afterwards. Mm. <laughs> but it's always, it's always not that bad. It's like, yeah, yeah. I can handle it, so I'm like, ah, yeah. okay, I can, yeah. I can pardon it, you know, okay. just for a little smooch. Yeah. But like, you seem to hate Marmite. <laughs> Marmite and Bovril. Don't, <laughs> don't come at me with Bovril. Don't, like anything that looks, that, that look, Anything yeast based. Yeah, anything yeast based, bro. Even though I know yeast is good for that yeah. fat ass. <laughs> you know? What I'm you know? But like, no, like, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mind because, it's like, like for example, I eat, I eat cigarettes. Okay. And, like, people were like, yeah, like, but I've. But Abby doesn't smoke them. Yeah, Abby doesn't smoke. But, for example, like, okay, I don't know if I should say this here, but, like, before Abby, like, timeline, like, for example, I've, I've kissed someone who've, like, Smoke. smoke cigarettes, yeah. And it was it's like disgusting. Yeah, but like if I can handle that, I can handle marmite. Okay. I can like I can handle <laughs> marmite. Like I've seen I've seen people degree of comparison. I've like, seen oh, people yeah. do like marmite cakes also. I'm like I've heard of that. And I, I wouldn't take it that far, but I do like but I even like I put you you don't like it, but like late night but I wanna snack on something, slice it with like a, th- a nice thin dusting of marmite, bruh. Try it guys. And a cup of tea. Please let us teapot. try it and yeah, like, please let us know in the comments if you actually like Marmite. <laughs> like, without a gun to your head, no gun to your no head, your, no, no knife weapons, to your no knife to your throat, no, no yeah. knife to your back, nothing. Yeah. Do you like Marmite? Do you like Marmite? Okay, <clears throat> let's, do, let's do the final card for fun, unless you want to continue, but I think five, five is yeah, five, no, is, no, five is good. Five is good. Let's see what I believe in the heart of the cards. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Your Yu Gi Oh style. <laughs> International country wide vacations per month. Yeah. But. She's been to Paulsmore prison as an inmate. Remember, Paulsmore was like the worst prison in the country. That's okay. <laughs> you let that slide? Yeah. You know why? Is it crime dependent or... I don't think it's oh, crime dependent. I really don't mind, honestly. Because she might have learned some freaky stuff in Paulsmore, my bro. Damn. Like, she might have learned some stuff that, like, I don't... That I never heard of. Mm. Or, like, so I'm like... so. Like, when you say learn some stuff, do you mean, like, how to get out of trouble stuff? Or, like... <laughs> in both ways. <laughs> in both ways that you're thinking. That. <laughs> you know. Okay. okay. But anyway, yes, I would be... Because... So, Abby survived, like, two cards. So, Abby survived two cards. <laughs> I would... Yeah, it's... That's not a red flag for me. I mean, yeah. if she's... Because, I mean... Because maybe she's reformed, you know? Like, like maybe she was in Paul's more and she's, like... And mm-hmm. she and she was, like, okay, I'm sorry for what I've done and whatever and whatever. And she came out to be a human being. Just because ah, you went okay. to prison doesn't mean you have to be, like, like a terrible person or you're going to go commit crime again. So, yeah. she so she might be reformed. So, I'm okay with that. I mean, it makes sense. I don't know why I said she might have learned something. This has nothing to do with the card. No. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, the one card that I want to actually show you yeah um the one the red flag card if mm-hmm. you want to call it that that wouldn't apply okay. is and it, they brought it up in the previous video is too close to their siblings how many sisters does abby have Shoo! sheesh okay abby She's has close to all of them basically yeah? abby yeah abby has six sisters and two brothers exactly yeah so it's like too close. She's close to all her siblings, anyways. It doesn't really matter. She's already, yeah. She's already like. I mean, <laughs> that's when, when I saw that card. I was like, that out. If yeah, I, that I one definitely open, doesn't apply. If I saw it, if I had to pick it up instead, I'd be like, okay, like, no, I need to no. I need to switch to a different card yeah. because it wouldn't have applied. Yeah, she's make she's, she's tight with all her siblings. So that's not even a red flag for me. Yeah, like you, like you, like you. I like this game. I like this game. Okay. We actually want to do more games because it just makes things interesting. Yeah, it like does. Uh, this is okay. Before we like wrap up things, I actually yeah. want to ask you a question because I feel like I thought about this and I don't really know my answer, mm-hmm. but I'm gonna pose the situation to you because we're both super massive nerds. Mm-hmm. Okay, alternate timeline, alternate universe. Let's call it Earth, whatever. We are, let's Earth say sixty nine. Earth. I yeah. mean, Earth six one six, not sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> Earth six one six or whatever the case yeah. is. And on this planet where we all live, uh-huh. we have superpowers. Mm-hmm, Everybody's mm-hmm. Pa- superpower varies. Blah blah blah. Whatever, yeah, right? yeah. And you are chosen to be on a team of superheroes, right? Mm-hmm. But <clears throat> your your power can be one of two things, right? You can summon the power 
of any animal on the planet. So you mm. as a human being can have the ability of this animal, Ooh. right? Remember, okay, let me, let me, remember this. You are a superhero, I'm right? superhero. So, so you so want to go on missions. I was going to say, it. like, it's my job to, like, say if people stop no. the end of the world yes. or all of that. You are you know? a part of a team and you are going to okay. be part of the superhero squad and okay. you're going to go do your things. You've got homies that you're on the team with, Avenger type things or whatever, right? Mm. Or yeah, Young Justice League or whatever you okay, want to call okay. it. So you have one of two superpowers, right? One, you can summon the power of any animal on the planet. At any point mm. in time, mm. doesn't matter. Mm. But in order to summon that animal's power, okay. you need to scream the animal's name. So, like, if you want to be, like, if you want to summon the power of a lion, you want to say lion, and then you no, lion you're up. To do a lion, yeah. Bear, and you beast boy you, vibes essentially. Yeah. But yeah. you have to project the name I, of the animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to be, yeah. you want to have the powers of. You still, you still stay human, mm, mm. but you just have the strength of the bear or the ability to swim like a dolphin, blah blah okay. whatever, or okay. the, at the speed of a you, dolphin. I feel you. Or you can transform into any animal you want to. Okay. But right? No, you, you, you just okay. you turn, no pronouncing their name, but you can only do it for two hours accumulatively every day. And the only way to reset your timer on your transformation is to get a full night's rest. I go with the first one. So you'd rather one. scream whatever animal you can yeah. be. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I thought you were gonna ask me what, like, which one I was to be because I was gonna say I was gonna scream mosquito. <laughs> no, like you can transform into. Anything. I know, but <laughs> imagine, imagine if, imagine if you went to Thanos, bro, and you were a mosquito, yeah. and the Avengers were fighting Thanos, and you were a mosquito. I imagine a bit too busy like scratching himself all over because he's itching. I mean, that, that opens a window for like the rest of the Avengers <laughs> to come in. That I'm creating openings. You're creating openings. I'm creating openings. What I'm doing. But the, the reason why I'm bringing it up, so you, I can remember, you need to go on missions and do all sorts of stuff. Yeah. So like, depending on how long the mission is, and depending on how, quote unquote, how covert you need to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either or is a liability. Okay, so okay, so I need to shout it out. You need like, to literally but like really stand loud and scream like like like, 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 Shazam, like powering up like, type of like thing. Shazam, like Shazam. But 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 then if I'm on Literally. the mission, then I would just be the guy who's like furthest away, and I'd be like in touch with my team, like yo, okay. What do you what's, need? Yeah, what do you need? Like let yeah. me know. Like for example, because I need to transform into whatever you need. Like if there's a door and you need me to like turn into like an elephant or a rhinoceros, yeah. like let me know via the thingy, yeah. the earring so thing. So every time you every yeah, but remember that's only for when you want to summon the power of that animal. Yes, but yes. To, you, the one where you turn into the animal you can literally transform like you can run like a cheetah and then mm-hmm. jump and turn into an eagle and fly on the whim but only for c- a only for, yeah, for yeah, two I know. hours I'm, I'm still going with the projecting thing bro it's I'm still going pro- I feel like I feel like nah, I'm, I'm ready because I feel <laughs> like I want to be able to like have options available at any point but I thought the, I really thought the question was to be what would you turn into I'm, oh no, no I'm, I'm, I'm hands on on mosquito bro I was, it was more like I thought about it too and I was what like would you be? I'd rather I'd rather be able to turn into any animal Mm-hmm. But I mean, oh, like, if, but if you were, if you could only choose one, I animal, can get a lot what, done in two like, hours. What would you turn into? If I could turn into an animal, yeah. Which one would you turn? If you, if you only had to choose one, like I said, mosquito, tiger. like a tiger. I love tigers. Okay, it's so my favorite. I would. Okay, there's one of two animals I would love to turn into. Actually, okay, there's yeah, there's two. Okay, let uh, 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 let's do the question again. But land, sea, and and land. Sea, okay, perfect. And a flying animal. Perfect. So okay. land animal, I want to be either a panda bear or a tiger, just because pandas are the, so cute. Pandas man. are the bomb, bro. Panda, panda, Guys, if you ever bored, panda, panda. if you ever bored and you want to watch really hilarious videos, watch videos of pandas in their natural habitats. Just watch them chilling, bro. Just watch them chilling like bamboo. They're the clumsiest <laughs> animals you ever see. <laughs> People like literally ask how do pandas survive in the wild because they're so clumsy. Yeah. Like, like when you watch Kung Fu Panda and they fall around and bruh, they, they, they do it in real life. They do it in real life. Um, yeah, so either a panda or a tiger because I've always loved tigers. Mm-hmm. Uh, sea animal, mm-hmm. I've always loved killer whales. Ooh. Orcas? Oh, Orca, like, yeah. Orcas Orca. are the bomb. So I would do that. And then a flying animal, I would be a hawk. Mm. I think the a hawk is the fa- fastest flying bird. Mm-hmm. Either a hawk or a falcon, but I like hawks more. Mm. Was nothing hunts hawks except for bigger hawks or like eagles. I think. Okay, they so don't really have no. They don't really have many like natural predators. That yeah, yeah, hunt yeah. Them. <laughs> and also, like I mean, they in the sky. Who's who's? Yeah. I mean, it's like a cheetah if you, jumping. You gotta try and like, catch them, yeah. And yeah. it's almost impossible to catch them because they fly so fast. Mm. Mm. What would I be? I think I'd actually be. Your. I think I'd be. I, I think I'd be a cheetah. Mm-hmm. But I'd also want to be. Also want to be a chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> wow okay such a contrasting opinion yeah like like because 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 then i could just hide in plain sight you know and then i just come up behind you like 
you know, with the I mean, with the yeah. chokehold. <laughs> chokehold. <laughs> with, like, are you gonna choke them with the tail or choke them with the, with the tongue? No, no. I just be like, I'm gonna blend into the environment. Like, I'm gonna be the same like, color as like as this, this cupboard, and I'm just wait for the security to pass by, get you in the, you know. <laughs> I love how your brain is still thinking like you like you. I don't know if it's still thinking like in the superhero thing. Still, I think I'm still in the superhero thing, but I'm still like. <laughs> but I was talking about hiding in in the shadows. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, ocean, uh, sea ocean. Or, or aquatic animal. Uh, aquatic animal. I would probably like to be. What's that thing, man? That's like um um. I I forgot the name of it, but it Describe shoots. It. it shoots like a wave so powerful. That it like actually like causes like shock waves or something like that. I forgot the name, but there's like some sort of sea animal. If you know the animal, let us know in the comments. It uses its mouth, no? Um, I think it might use its mouth, but it uses something where it like it sends a pulse, like a huge air shock wave, and paralyzes some stuff. I could be wrong about the paralysis thing, but I think that thing's pretty cool. A real animal? Oh, it's a real animal. It's a real animal. Damn. Are we still recording, by the way? Yeah. I don't know. There was. A I was making sure that there's space. I'm just <laughs> no, don't worry about that. We're gonna so, be done now, anyways. So, so that's yeah. crazy. Okay, and flying animal. Flying animal. Or bird-like animal. Let's bird-like, just say bird-like, bird-like animal. Bird-like animal. So I don't know a lot of bird animals. That's the thing. Like I don't. I don't think I know a lot of bird animals. I mean, I'm gonna go with the generic answer for that and probably go like eagle or something. Yeah. Like, cause eagles are pretty dope. But like, but I was I was gonna say though, like, wouldn't it be like okay? I know it's a land animal, but it's also like a bird. But like. Ostriches? I mean, Ostrich- yeah. I mean, ostriches they kick come. pretty hard. They do come, actually. Ostriches kick pretty hard. But I think horses kick hard. There's also something yeah, there's also something else I wanted to review. Can you grab the tricks out of my bag, if you don't mind? The tri- Oh, yeah. There's actually, I wanted us to do a review. What are you telling so me? So, we got some... We got some crunchy it's called popcorn a, chips. It's called a pistol shrimp. That's what it's called. A Thank you, Ken. It's shrimp. called a pistol shrimp. But I don't let things sound gang. Yeah, it does. It's like, oh, crazy. Right, like he's permanently walking around with the... Um, there's a pistol shrimp and then there's another one. Um, so sorry, it's not a fish, it's a shrimp, yeah, but like, shrimp, yeah. yeah. I think we've got a gang name, bro. I bet he has like face stats and everything on the wall. There's one, <laughs> um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's also like a lobster shrimp. Yeah, that yeah, animal yeah. That has, it's, it's, it's punching force is so strong. I think we might be talking about the same thing. Crack through a, a I crab th- shell. I think we might be yeah. talk- I think we're talking about the same but animal. But just that thing. And it just sends because some just, like a quick Because jam. just imagine like, I can be like, whoosh, and I send like, and I blow you through that wall type of thing. Yeah. Know? Like that, like that's insane. Yeah. Okay. Something else that's I also awesome. wanted us to try is this chips called Triggs. So my sister put me on these. This is the jalapeno flavor. Um, they are oh, actually like, <clears throat> yeah. Take it out guys. Yeah, they're gluten free as well. Yeah. It needs to be they, healthy. No, they actually like the they like the vegan version of Doritos, I'd say. It looks like it. Okay, my end is a little bit like. It's healthy. Oh, that. Oh, shit. Oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> so messy. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Ideal. I'm messing up your studio. <laughs> <laughs> it's so messy. Did you squeeze the pack? I did. This is enough like the lollipops or the tattoos inside you squeeze the packet, but <laughs> remember, remember those? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So <laughs> that smells good. Now I gotta sit with my legs closed like this. So I don't spot crumbs anyway. So this is what it looks like. Kev, do you wanna take it to the people some some kind yeah. of like immobilized yeah, and, and, sh- and show so, the people what it yeah. looks like? That's what it looks. It doesn't look bad. It's yeah. weird in the trick though, but Yeah, it's, it's essentially like it's like the same texture as like a rice cake mm-hmm. type of thing. It is. Mm. It's a lot like a rice cake. It's like a rice cake, but a really good rice cake, right? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it is. So my sister put me on this. I'm putting you on this, and I'm putting you guys on treats. Hmm. Would you buy it again? I would definitely buy it again. Would you buy it? For a jalapeno flavor, it's not that strong. Mm. It's actually more sweet. But you get different flavors, but... No, but I mean this one particularly, it's, mm. it's very sweet in comparison. You would have thought it would have been like really spicy. Now, I don't feel it's like aerated, you know, because it's got like that, that, that puffiness to it is nice. It is true. Actually. Mm. But I got a pack of candles too. I'm sure you can also give us a review of mm-hmm. our things. Yeah. But this is actually, I mean... Yeah. Is I this a never, vegan Doritos? I would have never, I would, I'll be honest with you, I would have seen this in the shop and I would have looked at it and be like, okay, where's the blue Doritos? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Past it. Yeah. But now that I'm actually tasting it, it's actually not that bad. Mm. Hmm. Okay, guys, check this out. If you want to see closer, I can buy it. Like, it actually looks like a rice cake too. 
Like, you can check it out. So it has like the, the rice cake. It's got like those bubbles. And... Yeah, it's got like rice cake. In the it looks like looks like rice cake texture. Mm. Tastes like it. Too. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So this is why you're always posting gym selfies because you got to work off all these things that you eat. I don't post gym selfies. But I was like posting in this black under armor vest. <laughs> 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 you know. Actually, mm. yeah, I mean, I mean, considering how much food I eat, I try to like be in the gym at least like four times a week. Yeah, we have to. Mm. You know. I think I, mm. I, I think it's also because like you know what we should put this on the red flag because I remember one time, and I'm sure Abby was probably just joking. But she was like, if you ever get to a certain point of fat, like, I, 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 I don't think we can be together anymore. Damn. I was like, I'm sure she's probably joking, but like, it's stuck in my mind. <laughs> and, and I'm in the gym like, gotta save my marriage. Gotta save my marriage. I'm kidding. I'm not. <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> Put those lips in to keep the ring on. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. That is insane. Yeah, but I'm sure she's probably just messing around. You know, it's <laughs> funny. In, with me and Candace, it's opposite because she's going to fat me up. Mm. I know she's gonna eat me or what, rabbit. Yeah, like, you yeah. um, when I met you, yeah, I mean, you got cheeks now. You got <laughs> I got cheeks, cheeks now. Got che- I'm not saying you didn't have cheeks, but I mean, like, you got those I cheeks. I had, and then I lost it, and then I got it back. You got those cheeks like grannies on a pool. I know. You got those, like. I've always had a full face, bro. Like, and that yeah. was the thing that annoyed me, and then I lost a lot of weight. Mm. Like, I I think it was almost, it was borderline like 20 cages that I lost. Really? Yeah. Wowzers. I went from being 84. What did you do? Four. Stress. <laughs> That's pretty much it. What are you stressing about? How, how, old, are you? how old are you? How old are you? 25. No, well. 25? Mm. No. I can understand it. So life was just like hectic, right? Like work and I was working, a, the job I was working at like insanely long shifts. So like mm-hmm. I would have to literally pack like double to triple lunch or like pack a decent lunch and then go and buy myself supper or else okay. I was just going to fuck it off. Mm. But like work was hectic, man. And then anyways, just lost like a lot of weight. I see. And then... It's slowly coming back now. I'm healthier. So like how? Get my how, on. Like how? How, <laughs> how do you feel about like 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 where you are right now in terms of like are you? Because I feel like 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 a, a, a lot of us have so much like I don't want to say like pressures, but like you told to look a certain way. Like I feel like at mm. a certain age, like you just stop like worrying about those things eventually. Like you you hit the point where you're like, look here, man. I'm not saying like be out of control, but I'm yeah. saying. Where you actually like make a conscious decision, like I'm gonna try to take care of myself better. From like, are you are you happy with where you personally are? I won't yourself? lie, no, not really. I mm. wish I had a bit more time to like, or actually, I wouldn't say time. I wish I had a bit more energy to actually be a bit more fit, mm. because the lifestyle that I used to live, I was always physically active, mm. like in various ways. If it wasn't riding bike, it was b-boying. If it wasn't b-boying, it was like martial arts or something mm. so like i was always busy doing something you were active you had yeah, an active lifestyle active. yeah yeah mm. fairly active lifestyle so like i wish i could do more of that a little bit mm-hmm. but like i know that life doesn't really allow that right mm. now because when i get home from work it's like laptop open drawing, start drawing design work design, or something yeah. if there is and if not brother then like <clears throat> i'm just busted so like mm. when i get home I'm like you know i can imagine yeah i don't really want to overexert as well because when you don't have the energy to do it mm. you shouldn't push yourself because then you're just like mm-hmm. making things worse yeah like you, you, you're yeah. burning out you're gonna yeah, you're literally setting yourself on fire oh you're busy designing cool t-shirts like yep. the one I'm wearing over here yeah this. actually I wasn't expecting you to wear that but also thank you I actually <laughs> when when I was packing my, my clothes for the trip I was like I need to pack this because I'm gonna be on the podcast and yeah. I was like I gotta show my homie love and I'm because he designed this this yeah. over here and we are actually in warmer right now coincidentally yeah. what we are in warmer yeah we are in warmer we're right in now warmer. so 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 that's pretty mad do you know why I wore the German t-shirt why I wore it for well one because I love gremlins and gizmo's mm-hmm. the bomb yeah shout out gizmo but um also because um <laughs> it, was, it was to do with the whole eating thing because you can't feed gremlins after a certain time oh, like, oh yeah 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 <laughs> is, that you? is that you is that you no 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 it's like because we were gonna be eating yeah. so it's like it's, it's fitting I couldn't I find my I came for the food t-shirt I, <laughs> I actually cool. have a t-shirt that's that cool. says I came for the food guys I'll wait in one of the episodes again and I'll show y'all but, but yeah anyway. guys my homie is mad talented to designs anything you. you want t-shirts so. well they would have seen now because I do all the homeless crusade stuff so yeah basically. but I mean like you are you, you are mad gifted bro thank you you are really, I really talented, that. and I really, I, mean, I actually yeah. wanted to say it on the podcast. I, I wanted to let people that, know, yeah. like, I want to give you your flowers, Thank and you. let people know Thanks, that, like, you are one of the, I'm you are a really talented dude here in PE. We're mm. lucky to have you as, mm. like, 
someone like who's an artistic, yeah, who's a creative in our city. Thank you. And I think your your work, your artwork speaks volumes of the immense talent that you have oh, when damn. it comes to creating art. I appreciate that, Rami. Thank you. I shouldn't let Otto throw up the drawing under the view. I can, mm-hmm. can just put it here, Sami. <laughs> With my hands on holding it up. Ching! Yeah. I'm to bring the, my copy work and be like, this this is the guest. <laughs> but you're... No, you're, no, no like, no, I should have done... You, you should have had the picture in front of my face and like... And then, bring, and then pull it away. Because <laughs> like it was... It was I, I use it for the... Um, for the portrait giveaway video, like yeah, yours yeah, was yeah, the, yeah, I saw, I like saw. a big prize. Big prize. G won that, you know. Just like, like, just imagine, like someone got a, like got a portrait of me with their portrait. And they're like, <laughs> yeah, here's a DLC. This is the one for you. you know, <laughs> I know you don't know this guy, but he looked good on your well, wall. Actually, actually, the winner, the winner of the portrait, did know who you are because it's it's, it's, it's G. Yeah, G. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> G knows exactly who you are. Mm. Wouldn't have been a stranger. But okay. anyways, yeah, homie, it's been real. Thank you. I feel like we've been here for long enough now. Thanks and for then, having me on you know, the homeless crusade. Like it was, it was had to happen as soon as you came to town because, yeah. Well, I wanted to do the, I wanted to join the two together. I mean, I actually did because now we had like a snack and like a whole meal. Yeah. It was delicious. Thank Thanks you very homie. much. Sir. From the resident mix guy and, and beard, the beard man, eats. the beard man who eats guys, it's been real. Thank you for joining us. This is fun. See you. Whenever, on the you, next come to, whenever you come to pee again, bro, you have to come back. But like the next time, it has to be. Me. All of us. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. Like, uh, it's Ramadan right now while we're filming this guy, so that's why Adol's not here. We actually, we wouldn't have wanted him to be here because shame, we're not going to sit yeah. and chow us duck in front of him. That would have been messed up. That would have been, you, you know what, I was, actually, I was actually speaking to, like, Abby this morning. I was mm. saying, like, because a lot of, like, you know, like, your La Fiestas and your Burger Palace, mm. they are, like, Muslim-owned establishments. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, imagine what it's like, like, you own a fast, like, you own <sighs> a food spot. And you know and, it's, and, it's, and it's Ramadan right now, like... Mm. Yo, like, how hectic is it? Like, you're working with food, but you gotta wait until that sunset, bro. Yeah, that's messed up. I would not be able to handle it. That's like a, that's a red flag right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's, it's a red flag. Like, 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 you should put on here, he's a food blogger, red flag, it's, ra- um, you're Muslim and it's Ramadan. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's, I feel like the your Muslim and it's Ramadan. It would, it would actually account for a lot of things. Right, so just right, eating. right. Yeah, because you can't go out as well. You can't mm-hmm, do certain mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, you can't, bro. You still do. You should print that on the card next. Oh, just next card, bro. Oh, next, set of, <laughs> next set of cards we're making. Let's put that Ramadan. Ramadan edition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, or something along those yeah. lines. Is, Islam edition of the cards, bro. Yeah. Because that's crazy. Anyway. Yeah. You've been giving me so much ideas now. But anyways, guys, it has been Jill. We'll catch you on the flip. You must actually like chop up your uh, the, the food review piece and actually yeah. throw it onto Beardman Eats. We'll oh. drop the... You must make a Beardman Eats page, bro. But we'll drop your YouTube channel. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. So you'll, and my you'll TikTok. Be, yes, yes, and my yes, TikTok. yes. Yeah. Beardman Eats is on YouTube and TikTok. But he shares the other videos in his private pages for some reason. Does Beardman have a page? <laughs> but it's okay Start out as a hobby Yeah, yeah started yeah. as a hobby But now it's like a full time Food blog mm-hmm. But you can catch in there guys But it has been real We'll catch on the flip side Peace <laughs>